What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're gonna be talking about the creative interview process. Some of you might be ready to start applying for full-time design positions and that is like so exciting, but maybe a little nerve-wracking because you're thinking to yourself, am I ready for this position? What needs to be in my portfolio? What kind of questions are they gonna ask me? What do I need to do inside of that interview to make sure that I land this job because I really like designing but I'd like to get paid for it? Okay, first things first, from start to finish, you need confidence. I'm talking all the way from building your portfolio and the work that you do to sending out your application or your resume or walking in and actually interviewing face to face. You need to be confident about who you are and what you love to do and your excitement to work for the company and in your skill set and in your abilities. So with that being said, I think it's fair to say that you should be applying for positions that you are qualified for. Um, if you are just starting out and you've been designing for like six Six months and you have like maybe a project two under your belt, you don't want to apply for senior user experience design positions, somebody who's supposed to have 10 to 15 years and launched lots of projects and products. That's not what you should be applying for. On the flip side of that coin, some people have been designing for a really long time. They've launched lots of products, but they don't have the confidence in their work. And so they're constantly applying for positions that are beneath them, like intern or junior level designer. And so I think it's about being confident about who you are and where you're at, being okay with that and self-assessing. Okay, number two on the list is so important. I believe confidence is the most important, but literally like right behind, like a hair behind it, is your portfolio. As a designer, as a creative, your portfolio is proof of that confidence, proof of who you say you are and what you can do. I genuinely believe that it's not about where you went to school or how old you are or how long you've been doing something. It's about what's inside your portfolio that really counts. Okay, so number three is really, really important and it's where we start getting into the actual interview process and that is make sure you're on time. If there's some sort of cutoff date for applying, then make sure you make that cutoff date. If there's an actual time you're supposed to meet online or in person for your interview, make sure that you are 10 to 15 minutes early, dressed appropriately, ready to interview and you are not late. Because it doesn't matter how good your portfolio is or how confident you are if you are not a good team member and not a good employee. Okay. Number four on the list is having passion about what you do and about what they do. It's really important that when you step into that interview that people see that you are excited about design, that you're excited about solving problems, but I think it's also equally important to show passion for applying those passions and those skills and those desires of yours to the product or to the company that you're applying for. They wanna know that you're not just passionate about design in general, but passionate about making that team or that product or that brand succeed. Okay, number five, the last one. Be ready to talk about your work in depth and then also be ready to talk about design just in general. So before you walk in, you should have a piece of work in your portfolio that's super contextual to the place that you're applying at and be ready to talk about in depth that process, that project, that client, that in the launch of that project, everything from start to finish. Also be ready to talk about design in general. That's something that happens a lot. They're gonna ask you like what designs are inspiring you right now, who are your favorite designers, what typographies are really like rocking your socks right now. Show me some projects you're really into. They're gonna be asking you to be a part of the design community. They wanna see that you're actually integrated into the design community and care about that stuff. So um, care about it, I guess, and be ready to talk about it. Okay, it's time for the bonus section. There are some things that tend to happen in design interviews commonly. Okay, first up is the sample project. It's really, really common that you'll come in for an interview, you'll talk about design, you'll show your portfolio, and then they'll give you some sort of sample project to either walk through right there or take home and deliver within 24 to 48 hours so they can see the kind of work that you output. So be ready to actually get your design game on. That means bring a laptop with you, have your design software ready to go. That also means have the following 24 to 48 hours ready to be able to do a little bit of work and resubmit it to them. Okay, the second common thing that'll happen in a creative interview is they'll ask you for input and feedback on their actual product or company right then and there. They might ask you if you had the opportunity to fix something right now in the product, what would it be? 
and you don't want to be sitting there thinking, I've never actually even used the product, I don't know. So you want to be well versed in the product, in the company, in the brand. You want to be able to have some actual problems and some solid solutions that you've come up with that you are like gung-ho ready to apply for that product. Okay, last one on the list, and it's not as common as the other two, but it does happen from time to time, and it has happened to me, is that an interviewer will ask you to role play through a situation with them. There's a lot of different reasons why they might ask you to role play something. Maybe it's a forward facing position where you're working with clients or maybe they need to see how you'd interact with the rest of the team. Maybe they had some things that happened in the past and they want to know how you would handle it. Maybe they're actually just asking you to step outside the scope of the position you're applying for and think about the business holistically and know that you can do that. There's lots of reasons. I think the only way you can really prepare for this is to have a little bit of experience, try to be casual, try not to be nervous and roll with the punches and just be your genuine self because in the end companies are really you know caring about who you are as a person not just about the work you can do you could be the most talented designer or creative in the world but if you suck to work with they don't want to hire you so um, it's just about being an awesome person be kind think of others you know have grace um, all those lessons that your mom taught you hopefully when you were a kid they're coming full circle right now well that's it those are my tips on how to prepare yourself for a creative interview or creative application process I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you have any comments leave those down below I'd love to hear your experience on you know applying for different creative positions also check the description for the link to my portfolio handout if you're interested in that I hope you guys are having an amazing week week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and preparing yourself to land that dream job. I'll see you in the next one.